Greetings, budding mathematicians. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are embarking on an incredible journey into the realm of solid figures, unraveling the mysteries of surface area and volume. So, get ready to dive deep into the math wonderland with us. Let's kick things off by understanding what solid figures are. Think of them as the superheroes of geometry, not just flat shapes, but 3D wonders with height, width, and depth. They are like the architects of our mathematical universe. Our adventure begins with the surface area, the outer wrapping of our solid figure. Picture it as the fancy gift paper that covers the entire shape. Our first protagonist is the mighty cube. Surface area. Unwrapping our shapes. Imagine you receive a gift box. To wrap it, you need to find the total area of its sides. That's what surface area is the sum of all the exposed areas of a solid figure. Let's break it down with our solid friends. Cubes. Each face of a cube is a square. So, surface area equals 6 times side length squared. Imagine you're wrapping a colorful cube gift. Let's take a cube with sides measuring two units. The formula for surface area is six times the side length squared. So it's six times two squared, giving us a total of 24 square units. Cylinders. The curved surface is like a label around a soup can. Surface area. Imagine measuring that shiny can. Let's revisit our cylinder with a radius of 3 units and a height of 5 units. Plug these into our surface area formula and we get 2 times pi times 3 squared plus 2 times pi times 3 times 5, which equals 94.2 square units. Spheres. Imagine peeling an orange. The skin is the sphere's surface. Surface area. Picture a giant, juicy orange. To find the surface area of a sphere, we use the formula 4 times pi times the radius squared. The radius is the distance from the center of the sphere to its surface. Imagine a sphere with a radius of 4 units. Plug that into our formula, and we get 4 times pi times 4 squared, which equals 64 pi square units, or approximately 201 square units. Volume, filling up our shapes. Volume is like pouring water into our solid figures. It tells us how much space they can hold. Let's fill M up. Quick formulas for our friends. Cubes. Volume equals side length cubed. Let's take an example. The side length of the cube is two units. Replace the side length in the formula with the actual length which is two units. The calculation results in eight. So, the total volume of the cube with sides measuring two units is eight cubic units. Cylinders. Imagine pouring water into a cylindrical tank. Consider a cylinder with a radius of three units and a height of five units. The volume formula involves pi times the radius squared times the height. Crunching the numbers, we get 141.3 cubic units. Spheres. Consider a sphere with a radius of 3 units. Plug that into our volume formula, and we get 4 thirds times pi times 3 cubed, which equals 36 pi cubic units or approximately 113 cubic units. So, remember, the surface area is unwrapping the gift box. Volume is filling it up with water. Now, my curious learners, hit that like button if you enjoyed this adventure. Share it with friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting math explorations. Until next time, keep learning and keep shining.